What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, RJ, and we're going to be checking out a video where in Chicago, 15 people were injured by gunfire just trying to enjoy a Halloween party. So let's go ahead and check out the news clip. Right, and you know, police telling us this afternoon that the shooter is in custody, although charges against him are still pending. They also said that this was an unlicensed party that was taking place at a building that is registered as an art gallery. Surveillance video shows the moment right around 1 a.m. when gunfire erupts inside a North Lawndale Halloween party. Partygoers are seen running away, crossing the still busy street at 13th and Pulaski. By the time all was said and done, 15 people were shot, two of them critically. We was in here having a fun good time and it was arguing. A party had to get let out. And so all you hear was gunshots, everybody ducking on the floor, women screaming. Hosted by three local social media comedians, the party was, according to some of those there, wrapping up. Fellow comedian Taiwan Tunstall says people were being checked for guns at the door. Today, he spoke out against those who would shoot into a crowd of people. Stupid people with guns kill people. Because I'm an ex gangbanger but I put the guns down because I value my life, you know? People should value life out here. And we trying to stand up and be good for the community, you know? It's trying to make people laugh, because laughter brings joy. Speaking at the press conference this afternoon, Chicago police said the shooter was quickly identified and placed into custody. His weapon, they say, was recovered. Victims and witnesses did relate that the suspect was ejected from the party, and he came back a few minutes later with a gun and began to shoot. Also present this afternoon was 24th Ward Alderman Monique Scott. I don't know whether to scream or to cry. We shouldn't be out here on a Sunday because 15 victims lay in the hospital because they were shot, because someone couldn't get back into a party. Resident Will Ricks witnessed the aftermath, including seeing the gunman running away from the scene, only to later find out one of his friends was among the injured. See, and this is the reason why I don't go out no more. It's literally not worth it going out to a party, trying to have a good time, even on Halloween where people are supposed to be dressing up, you know, bringing out different personalities and different characters and just having a good time. People can't even go out no more because guess what? Somebody's going to be at that party that has nefarious intentions. We see this every single day. That news clipping in that situation happened in Chicago. People try to go out, have a good time. And in the end, what happened? 15 people ended up getting shot and injured due to gun violence. I'm starting to look at what's going on and, and, and really question, should we put more limitations on how people move? Should we put more limitations? And I would hate to have the government start intervening on more areas of our life, but it's really getting out of control. And, and it's weird to me how a lot of these cities that's dealing with most of this gun violence is ran by the Democratic Party. Now, I'm not trying to make it too political because I don't really lean either way. I'm very neutral on how I see politics. But it's just weird that in the cities that have the biggest populations, we deal with the most lack of law and order. People should not have to worry about going to a Halloween party and worried about fearing for their life within that. It almost feel like we're living in a day and age where society is at war. I'm really starting to think that people are preparing to go to war because who is bringing firearms to a party? But sad to say, this is the environment that we live in. We live in an environment where you, if you don't have a firearm on you, then you are essentially at risk. I didn't grow up around guns. Me and myself, I was in the military, the Marine Corps. I'm a Marine. And we trained with firearms. The Marine Corps was the first time I ever shot a firearm in my life. Even though I'm in my late 20s, when I was in high school, we didn't worry about stuff like that. We didn't worry about going to a party and worrying if it's going to get shot up. Because the parties that I went to in high school we were all majority level-headed people. I didn't really go to parties with people that were toting guns or I feared that, man, somebody at the party might have a gun. But when you look at the black community and you go to an all-black party, this is something that you got to worry about. And what's even worse is you would want to think as yourself, huh, maybe I don't have beef with nobody. I don't have problems with nobody. So there's no reason why I should be scared or be fearful for my life. But then you get the dummy who is drinking all night 
So when steps on his J's and now he ready to shoot the club up. And a lot of times he does. Or you get some guys that are from this area and then some guys that's from this area. They both decide to go to the party. They already already got some type of tension between them. Maybe one of the dudes end up hollering at a girl that the other guy from the other group likes. And all of a sudden it's a beef and now all of a sudden you ready to shoot the club up. This is why I don't go out. This is why I don't go to parties. This is why I stay to myself. Because at the end of the day, when you go to these different environments, you end up becoming, you end up raising the risk of becoming another victim of gun violence. Because these guys don't know how to shoot. They are not trained and they are stupid. Let me know down in the comment section below. Do you agree with me or do I have some crazy takes? I would like to see what you guys think. If you guys could do me a favor, go ahead and hit the like button. When you hit that like button, also click that subscription, subscription button. And when you do hit that bell notification button so you are notified when i drop these banger videos it's your boy rj and i'm gonna catch y'all on the next one deuces youtube